There we go. Am I coming through now? That's, uh, that's no good. I have to start off my stream. I was talking away. Awesome. Well, I was saying, Corporal, welcome back to the stream. And, uh, how was your Monday? I also wrote up and read this little article that I wrote, so... <laughs> Many regions in Gethra follow a city-state societal structure. These free or independent nations usually involve one large city with some outlying villages and towns under its authority, rather than a network of cities you might see in a one might see in Kingdom or Empire. This is largely due to the prevalence of jungle and rainforest along the coasts of Radagar and the Elder Coast, which isolates civilization. Good stuff. Had a bit of a Long day myself. My job was very busy today. Just uh, fill in some basic uh, kind of general concept articles, just some basics that should be on the wiki to help anyone who's new to new to Gethra. Many regions of Gethra are isolated by sea or by jungle, resulting in the continued existence of many tribes or bands of people that have not settled into conventional cities. Conte well, let's say contemporary contemporary cities. These tribes may vary in technological technology level, in culture and beliefs, and in ethnicities. Let's have a little section, known tribes. and a couple of those that we know. We also know about, uh, where was, let's see, Chicken with Rabies had a character who was from a tribe. Luthera. Where is Luthera's page here? Tribes of Koros. We'll just call them the tribes of Koros then. All right, got that one wrapped up here. Tribes, city states. What was the last thing I was going to add? Oh, yes, a couple of the other customs. Feudal system. Some regions of Gethra use the feudal system. Um, particularly those regions with uh, that are not laden with rainforest or separated by C. Of particular note, the 
great isle. Has observed a fetal system for for over a millennia due to stagnant technology. <laughs> Right. That's probably enough. At least it's a basic note for the fetal system. I don't know why sometimes it requires me to go in and out of there to get the all the links published properly. All right, beefed up our topic here. City states, feudal system. All right, um, what else should we work on here? Where was Thendro at last that we checked in? Most of his information I think was on the page for Melium. Uh, yes, so let me let me simplify that sentence a bit. Suspecting that Thendro was simply enacting a ploy. Perfect. Yes, so Melium had reappeared and had con uh, kind of um, convicted. Thendro to be her, her champion, and uh, they had together drawn Olganth out, and he had been forced to fall in line beneath Thendro and Melium. Alright, I think going forward, the next, I mean, Th Thendro is to continue spreading uh, the word of Melium to, to, the, uh, to those groups that have branched off from the cult, bring them back under one roof. So I think Elikar had succeeded because now Olganth had fallen in line. So we'll note that Elikar, though resistant at first, saw the unification of sex as the um, as a sign of Melium's power as well, and agreed to f adapt her rule in the city. All right, Corbo, so at first you did not succeed in Alcar, but with Melium's help, uh, you did. So if you'd like, we can continue now with uh, some more for, for Thendro, if you'd like. Um, where I can continue adding some other pages. It'd be nice if we had Melium as well, but that's okay. We can always just figure out some things that Thunder gets up to. You can add other pages? All right, no worries, Corbo. We'll see, maybe maybe someone new will come along and say hello, and then we can see where their story goes as well. All right, uh, let's see, what could we work on? Well, we, last time we are reading from Dago in Elicar. See if there's anything there that we need to, 
to add. I think he met some bandits, so we can add some information about them. Oh, we are actually on to Dago 7. There we go. Oh, we learned a little bit about uh, High Reina, the city. Let's add some more detail about that. Is High Reina on the map yet? Probably, but might as well check. It is good. All right, so this will be in the 1400 to 1500 year period. We're gonna add a new character. Eventually this guy will get a name, but uh, I'll keep it until that, that develops in the story. Joyous King. All right, the Joyous King is the ruler of High Reina, a city that boasts, or under his rule, the arts and culture of his city has flourished. Yes, where bards and poets compete for ribbons of revelry. special reward or recognition from the king for their contributions to the city. There we go, and we might as well link that up with Hyrena. Said wizard is a song. Cool, we could make a, that page for that too. Why not? How much stuff is in Hyrena though? Not very much. Let's edit that. All right, so oops, we're gonna have a little history section here. Uh, during 1400s, Hyrena is ruled. By the Joyous King. Under whom the city, culture, and arts thrive. I played, uh, my, I played uh, D and D with my group of friends earlier today. I'm not the DM. I just am one of the players in that group. Joyce King, let's see. He will go into the people group. There. All right. Roadside Wizard is a song. Is there anything for that? Let's see. Document, maybe? All right, let's add on a... Let's see what the options are under there. It's not really an option, so we'll just make it a generic one, I guess. Yeah, okay. So we'll call this the... The Roadside Wizard. Roadside Wizard is a song.
It's a ballad. Originally written in High Arena in the Royal Taverns. It has been popularized far beyond along the highways and roads of Gethra. All right, let's see, what would that fit under? Magic of Phenomenon. It seems like a cultural thing. Let's make a new category that's part of the culture that is arts and um, say works of art. We're actually going to rename that to song. Oh, I can't put brackets in. Put a dash. All right, we'll drop that in to the arts, work of art. Then we also have Par. His name is Parsitrin. So we can make a new character. And we got Parsitrin. All right, um, bio Parsitrin called Par. He calls himself Par. Was a Gangster or rebel in Alpan during the revolution of 1478. Uh, during the aftermath, Par uh, ran a group of criminals. We'll say ruthlessly ran a group of criminals in the streets of the city. Cool. That's about all we have for now. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Contemplated knowing on Dago, but his interactions with Dago haven't really reached a historical kind of recognition. Cool. All right. Um, do we have a page for primals yet? We do not. Let's add that in. And I'll also alphabetize these guys so that they're easier. RS. Got O up at the top and above that. All right. So let's add in um, a new species primals. Or primal. Alright, the primal are a primate species. 
that is considered by some to be the missing link between humans and their evolutionary forebears. Primals have mastered some ad uh, advancements, such as fire and rudimentary tools, but have not mastered spoken or written language, or in not anything else to support see to support um, proper social organization. Primals often Roman tribes um, but are known to be loose in the in the rainforests as well independently as well. Uh, rarely primals will attack humans who trespass in their territory, but usually only when their upper hand, when they clearly have an upper hand, have an advantage in the situation, such as outnumbering them. Primals rarely attack, uh, have only attacked settlements a small number of times in recorded history. They can be dangerous just due to numbers and ferocity. If you think about fighting a, a gorilla or a orangutan or some sort of large monkey, that would be certainly very dangerous. Um, I believe they have white fur. But I don't recall the primals have varying fur colors. Um, they an often shade is white. Okay. Just thought that would be interesting because not a lot of primates are white furred. Alright, so we'll drop that into our species, races, and ethnicities. Now, do we have this revolution in here? World events, Alpine Revolt of 1478, good. Actually, I should copy a link to that and drop that into Parsons', Parsons page. And might as well copy Alpine as well. All right, some good stuff here. All right, what, let's see, what locations have we not added? We should continue to expand our map of, of locations. We keep we referred to the, to the Eye of Maga a few times. I feel like there's a page for that, but we haven't linked it. Oh, we have the healing water. All right, well, let's make a page for the Eye of Maga then. Um, I didn't go into the edit. Okay. All right.
right. This is actually going to be one of those capital markers. Here, the eye of Maga. Eye of Maga City. There we go. Might as well create a couple of these while we're in here. Make them up as uh, as pages. 